morning, besties. <laughs> Can you guess what I am? I hope you guessed elephant. Um, I do have a nose and tail, but you'll see that later. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's been a it's been a long time. I mean, I uploaded a video like two weeks ago, but that was recorded in September. So it's been a while. My apologies. But here I am. It is Halloween, October 31st. Happy Halloween. I hope everyone out there is having a great time. The reason I'm dressing up other than the fact that it's just Halloween and like, who, why not? Um, but I am working tonight and that's what we need to talk about because today's the last day that I'll be doing it. And I haven't even told you about it yet because it just started and it's already over. Long story short, this all happened in about a month. Um, you guys will know what I'm talking about because I've vlogged Ellie and I going there before. So if you haven't watched that vlog, you should. But Ellie and I went to this place called Paper and Glass, a new book bar that opened in our town. And I, a long story short, eventually they were hiring and I applied and they hired me. I got the job. Um, and I was really excited because they sell like books and they sell wine and they make food. And I was like, I love all of those things. Like this is going to be perfect. And it has been perfect. It has been absolutely perfect. Let me, let me pull up the receipts so I can tell you exactly like how short lived this has been because it makes it so much more sad. So basically I went in for an interview on October 1st. They hired me on October 2nd. Okay. And then I did my first training on October 5th. So then, so the position was to work Wednesday through Fridays, um, like two 30 to eight. So that kind of affected my subbing. So I could only sub at like the high school on those days. Cause I had to be at the place by two 30, but that was working just fine. Everything was good. So I worked there with that full like technical schedule i've worked there one two three this will be the fourth week so last tuesday october 22nd they text us and tell us that they're closing the business i know i don't know i don't know 100 percent all the details but i know it has to do with like the location issues and just like the space is just not really working for them um and so it definitely came out of nowhere because they had just hired me and they had also just hired someone before me, not that like long ago. And they had already scheduled us out through the end of November and they had all these events. So it's not like they knew that they were about to close and then they still hired me because that would have sucked. But they're not those kind of people. They're amazing. I love them so much. and I'm so sad. I cried. I cried a lot just because like I finally had something to look forward to every day in terms of like work and subbing don't get me wrong subbing has been going really well this year I haven't really had any bad days I've honestly been somewhat enjoying it but even with all of that being said it's still the consistency that's like the biggest issue even if I have a good day subbing it's still not a consistent schedule every day and that really has a negative impact on my mental health and my physical health as well because my sleep is so messed up <sighs> anyways so now I finally had something that was a consistent schedule every week that I loved doing. I have loved this job so much. I never thought I would do well in something that was like customer service kind of related. You know what I mean? Like, or retail, you know what I'm trying to say? Like having to work with people that are like purchasing things, not just students that are there to learn. I've never really done a job like that where I've like handled money and I've sold things and like made drinks and made food. I've never done that. And I never thought I would really be that good at it but I think I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> um, and I just love talking to everybody. So I wish I would have vlogged more, but I just like have been kind of sad about it. So I haven't really, like, I've just been trying to soak it in, but today's my last day. And I know, I know I literally just started for realsies on the ninth and today is my last day. This is, I mean, it's their last day as a business. Um, and then they're going to have some like big discount days, but this is the last day. It's like business, business as usual. So, and I'm working because I worked Wednesday through Friday, but they're, tomorrow's November 1st. So they're like done, you know? Um, and it's Halloween and they're, I'm going to have candy and bookmarks to give to kids who come. So I needed to dress up for that, of course. So I'm just going to wear my elephant ears at the coffee shop because I feel like that's kind of fun. And I know the coffee shop I'm going to, I know that they're going to be dressed up, the people that work there. So I just think it'll be fun to kind of, 
you know, have that. So anyways, I've been needing to vlog because I want to upload a video, but how can I upload a video if I haven't vlogged anything? So I thought, why not vlog my last day of work? And then I'm also going to do some stuff at the coffee shop. And I probably won't vlog much in there, but maybe like a time lapse. I don't know. I just need to like, um, I'm the social media person for our, one of our snowmobile clubs, the ski benders. And so I need to do some things related to that. And my apartment's just like not the zone right now. Like I need to be somewhere fresh. Um, even though I haven't been in my apartment in like a week because I have an animal sitting, but that's why it's like messy. Anyways, so I'm going to do some stuff for that. And then just a few other things that I need to do like on my computer and thought it'd be good to do that. And it's currently 1135 and I work at 230. So I have three hours until I have to be at work and I'll probably leave around like two maybe. I'll probably leave to work a little bit earlier than usual because I want to like put my cost, like get all my stuff together before I like clock in. Anyways, so I thought I'd bring you along for the little coffee shop productivity and then my last day of work. <laughs> it's so sad. I'm so sad. Like I know I don't sound as sad. That's because I've had some time to like cope with it, I guess. And I'm just really disappointed, I guess, that I, you know, I finally found something that was so good and that... I was doing really well in and I was really happy about it <clears throat> and then it was just kind of like pulled out from under me and not in like a malicious way like obviously the people I work for the nicest people ever I love them and I really hope that in the future they can make this work again which is what they want to do and they said I was like please call me up again and they're like oh you're all coming you're all coming with us <laughs> um and then usually unless there's like an event you're working it's starting to rain. You're working the shift by yourself. So I haven't even met everybody yet because it just hasn't been that long. But from the people that I have met, like they're just so nice. And I'm just so sad that it's coming to an end um, because it's just been such a good experience for me and I wish it wasn't so short lived. But yeah, you know what they say? It's so, what is it? It's so, like it's so nice to have something to be sad about. Or it's so nice to have something to miss. Something like that. So I'm just thankful for that. But anyways, we're going to head to the coffee shop now. I'm going to get something to drink, something to eat, and then do some work. And yeah, so I think that's all the updates. Um, it's like the short and sweet. Speaking of, stay tuned for that. If you know, you know. I might continue this vlog into tomorrow. I don't know yet. Um, cause I kind of want to put some subbing in there too. And so I'm subbing for my mom tomorrow. So we'll see if I, that might be included. I don't know. Um, but anyways, yeah, let's get to the coffee shop cause I need some caffeine. Let's go. I just pulled in. I'm gonna go inside and I really need to pee. So I'm just gonna do that before I go to work It's 1 50 so I really don't need to leave for like 20 minutes But I'm gonna go inside pee drop off my bag so that my laptop and the ski bender laptop are not just sitting in my car the whole time It's a pretty safe area like it would be fine But if I don't need to leave it in my car, there's no reason to and then I bought some earrings 
the coffee shop is like it's like a coffee shop but like you go into down you guys kind of saw it um but they have like little trinkets and stuff for sale and i was looking at the earrings and i was like oh my gosh i don't really have any halloween earrings and like yes i'm dressed up as an elephant but that doesn't mean i can't have halloween earrings you know so i just got th there were so many good options i had such a hard time choosing but i got these little ghosts i like the idea of having like different color earrings like that i like kind of when things don't fully like match i guess you could say um so i got these little ghosties so but i hate wearing earrings without cleaning them first clean these really quick and then put them in because i hate wearing earrings that i haven't cleaned that makes me want to cry so anyways i'm gonna go inside do that and i have my bag for work already in the car ready to go because i didn't know if i'd be coming home first and then we're just gonna head to work i'll be there early but that means i can get my costume kind of checked and and check and then maybe i can give you guys a little tour rundown look how cute these are i'm obsessed and they're clean and they're in my ears and i'm obsessed with them also i do have to wear my hair up for work but i'm just gonna do my hair up i just just gonna put up in a claw clip um and i'm just gonna do that when we get there so Let's go, and we're gonna be a little early so we can get my costume all set. We are here. I'm just gonna give you a quick little tour overview, and then we're gonna start preparing the rest of my Halloween costume. Oh, I need to get my claw clip so I can put my hair up, but I'm just gonna kind of give you a quick tour. So, here is the kitchen area, okay? Fantasy books, thrillers, lots of seating areas, cook, uh, cooking stuff front counter um more seating over here we have romance it's so pretty in here i'm gonna cry general fiction over there you guys like i said probably saw this already when i came here with ellie another seating area this is like the big room someone was already in here that's why some of the chairs are down um yeah that cute sign that says one more chapter i'm obsessed Okay, um, some more stuff, display, here is the bathroom, it's very nice, some more display stuff, and then this is like the room with all the kids books, and some toys for them, and then some other, like, kind of like trinkling down of other genres and stuff in here, and yeah, isn't it so nice? I thought someone walking by. I was like, we don't open for like 45 minutes. <laughs> um, it's beautiful. I'm so sad that it's closing. I literally can't fathom it. Um, but yeah, the, here we are. So I'm going to grab my claw clip so I can like put my hair up. And then also I have the rest of my elephant um, stuff. Oh, and then here's back here where I do dishes. I could have been doing the cutest videos in here for the rest of my life, but no. Okay, we got about 10 minutes, so I need to put up my hair. Okay, here's what we got going on. Obviously, we got the ears, the nose. <laughs> I'm scared about the nose because it's going to make my glasses fog up, but I might, like, put it on when people are coming. It, okay, and then I had a tail which had this kind of thing on it, um, but, yeah, I broke that because this is, like, not made for people that are not tiny i guess so i just tied a ribbon to it i'm gonna stick the ribbon like in the back of my leggings so that the tail hangs and then i have this like little bow tie oh my god if this snaps oh my god i don't know about that oh my goodness i okay no a million times no i don't even i like the nose the problem is that also i have this this and I have to wear my hair up so you can like see it. it doesn't look as cute. But I want to take like a picture or something in my out my costume. But I want to take it like before. I'm going to put it like this. Before I have to put my hair up. So it's less noticeable. <laughs> Is that right? Like if I could wear my hair down it would look a lot better. Oh. I might have the nose upside down. No. My glasses kind of put it, hold it in place actually. Now that I, oh, okay. <laughs> to like watch the time so I don't forget to clock in. Okay. See, like I'm gonna fog up. 
So I'll probably only put this on when people like come. Like if a kid's coming, can you see my tail? <laughs> can you see it? <laughs> Is it there? Maybe if I like tuck the sweater in a little bit too, so it like stays better. Can you see my tail? Do I have a tail? Okay. I think I look pretty good. <laughs> okay. I just want to make like a TikTok or something. There it is, you guys. <gasps> I look so cute. Cute little elephant. Got the earrings. Let me show you the fit a little bit better. Here I am. And I got my tail. <laughs> We've actually already been pretty busy. We've had a couple people come in. Some buy some books. I don't know how many people will buy like food and drinks today. I would imagine that a lot of the, obviously not everyone has children. I don't have any children. Um, but like, I feel like the majority, not the majority, I'm gonna say a good amount of people that have come in here and maybe would like drink or something or get food. Probably a lot of them have kids. And so if anything, they might bring their kids here because we got candy and bookmarks, but I don't imagine that we'll have too many people coming to like sit and eat and drink. We also have a very limited menu because obviously we are closing. So um, instead of like, you don't want to have an excess of things. So we are kind of like, they haven't been like repurchasing the things that are less important. Like they've been getting bread because we have like a different types of toast and stuff. That person could be coming here, so I might need to stop. So is our menu. We've had to like start crossing out things we don't have anymore and then drinks as well is up there. So I don't imagine as many people will be coming to, are they coming here? Oh, now I look like a creep. I'm not a creep, I'm just nosy. Just had a good group. They were in here for a little while and then they just left. I kind of need to pee. So I think I'm gonna do that right now. I also have dishes I need to do. I haven't done any dishes yet, but I got here and there were some dishes in the sink from someone who must have been here earlier, I'm assuming, um, for the other kind of business that they do in here. So I wanna start doing those because if someone does come and order stuff, I don't wanna have a ton of dishes to do at the end of the night when it might be getting busier with kids coming to get like trick or treating. So I think I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quickly and then start the dishes if nobody comes. Um, but yeah, I've sold some books. We have a sale today because it's Halloween, October 31st. So all new books are 31% off, which is a really good deal. And I've been looking at some books because I'm like, mm, might have to jump on that as well. Um, but we'll see. I still have a couple hours to decide that. But I'm going to put on some spooky music. I usually just play Halloween music. I mean, Taylor Swift. But I'm gonna do some spooky music, I think. Now, I didn't wanna change it right in the middle when people were here though, but I can't let you hear that because they'll come for me for copyright, so. Finally got a chance to do the dishes, so if no one comes in and orders anything, which I won't have to do any more dishes. That'd be amazing, but if I do, that's okay. There probably won't be that many anyway. But I've had a couple more people come in, but I was able to do the dishes and have given out some candy and bookmarks I show you. We've got gummy bears, and then these are the different bookmarks. Oh, someone's honking outside. Very cute, very cutesy, very mindful, very demure. And I think my parents are coming. My parents haven't had a chance to come see the place or see me here, and obviously it, um, the timing has, run out basically so um is that person coming here they might be the other thing is that someone has bought all the children's books so now if people come i have to tell them that they can't buy any which is so awkward because it's halloween and so kids could be coming and they didn't post like hey not selling any more children's books so i hate to be the bearer of bad news um especially because it could be awkward but i'm hoping that the person who's getting them comes and gets them like right now and then I won't have to worry about it. But I don't know if they're coming today at all. So anyways, that's the update. Um, but everything's going well here. It is 4.40, it's almost five. So I got two hours and 20 minutes. 
until we close and then oh they're coming okay bye so we got like super busy actually so i didn't have a chance to update you but my parents did come to see me and just see the place before you know my parents came in and my dad was i was like have you been here before he's like nope first and last i was like okay <laughs> anyway super funny and then someone came to pick up some chairs and people came bought some books and then someone's supposed to be coming from the esd you buy all the children's books for a grant for like the schools so that's really cool um so they're supposed to come around six and yeah and then two of the people i think i technically don't know that the one girl works here but i'm pretty sure but we've never met and i didn't want to i didn't say i didn't ask because i felt a little i don't know i was nervous anyways um two people that worked here came in and so that was pretty cool i got to see them um are they coming back the last people left, they like left the door open, <laughs> which is fine. I think they thought someone else was coming. Anyway, so I got to see two of my coworkers. Technically, the only one that I know. But, anyways, um, yeah. So, got an hour and a half. Um, but I need to start looking at some books for myself before um, the time's up. So anyways, my parents got to come and that was really cool. So I'm really excited that they got to see me in action and see the place before, you know, it's over. But yeah, having a good day. Like everyone's, it's good. It's good in here. It's sad, it's bittersweet. That's the best way to put it. It is bittersweet. And um, yeah, so that's the update for now. I just finished closing for the last time. I'm so sad. Okay. We're about to leave, but first I'm gonna show you the books I'm getting. Cause it's Halloween, so they're 31% off. Getting one day in December to use, we love it. Okay. The Book Thief. I've seen the movie, love the movie. I don't think I've actually read the book though. So we're gonna read The Book Thief. And then I've been looking at this one for a long time, here specifically from like the first time I came here. The Ministry of Time. I don't even really... Also, sorry if you can hear that in the background. It's an old house building, so... Things are loud. I think it's like the f furnace. I don't know. Anyways, the Ministry of Time. Uh, I have one to read this. I can't even remember what it's about. But I'm getting it. And then I'm still trying to debate, to debate on if I should get these two books or not. Of Literatures... Of Literature and Latte and the Printed Bookshop or something. 31% off. Should I just go for it? This one, they're by the same author. Comment down below, yes or no. Okay, I don't know, you'll find out at a later date, but I'm gonna check, close myself out and then head on out. <laughs> don't smile because it happened, baby. Cry because it's over. I'm gonna get copyrighted because they're gonna think that was Sabrina Carpenter, it was so good. Hi. <laughs> Got home and forgot to update you. Sorry, I'm looking a little rough. I just washed my face, did my skincare, so my skin's a little, you know, in that like raw skincare state. Um, but I'm about to get in bed and go to bed kind of. But I'm gonna try to read for a little bit. And my current read is A Taste of Sage by Yafa S. Santos barely into it if you can see um this is for the buzzword readathon this is for september and it's the last day of october so i'm a little behind um but i've just been kind of putting it off but i started reading it a little bit yesterday at work and then people came in and i had to stop in like the middle of the chapter so i'm gonna read a little bit tonight before i go to bed but yeah i will see you guys in the morning because i'm gonna continue this vlog for tomorrow so i will see you guys in the morning good morning besties happy friday it is 7 32 a.m and i am headed off to school well technically it is i'm going to sundance and getting a drink first and then i'm headed off to school technically i don't have to be there till 8 15 um, I do like try to be there by eight. I'm just subbing for my mom, so like I already know what I'm doing. We're gonna get a drink and then we're gonna head to school and I'll update you more when we're there. But yeah, I didn't want, did not want to get out of bed this morning. <sighs> I'm tired, but we got ready quickly, so that's good. So anyways, let's get our drink and head to school. 
Hi, can I get a 24 ounce um, pineapple, green apple, pomegranate, sugar free Red Bull? Yeah, you bet. And then can I also get a banana nut muffin? Yeah, sure. And that'll be everything. Alright, we'll see you at the window. Thank you. You're welcome. You order there, it's just like a microphone thing. Like, they don't see you when they order, but I know as soon as I say that first flavor, he knows who I am every time. Because <laughs> I get three flavors, and at first it was so, like the first couple times, he'd always be like, okay, I'm sorry, which one? Or he's like, I always want to put pomegranate, or pineapple, green apple, pomegranate. Not me forgetting what it is. He always wants to put in like huckleberry or something like that. I'm like, I wouldn't even be mad. I was like, it probably tastes good. Anyway, so now I went in person yesterday, obviously, you saw, to get work done. And he goes, the Red Bull? <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. So now I'm a regular, they know my order at Dutch Bros and here. A regular two in one? Also, two cars pulled in right in front of me into the place and I was like, okay, please say they're not going to the drive-thru. Please say they're not going to the drive-thru. They're both in front of me, so. I'm sorry, but the drive-thru is for me only. What do these people think? We made it to the school and my tummy hurts. Don't like that, but we're gonna head inside now, so I'll update you once we're in, in settled. I am here in my mom's room. Um, I love subbing for my mom so much so much and let me show you what we're doing today we are doing is a book ready for me an audiobook is ready for me that's so good because I just or maybe it says ready tomorrow what does it say no it is ready right now oh my gosh I'm so excited because I was like gonna maybe buy it the problem with buying thrillers for me is that I prefer to listen to them as audiobooks so I really have to think about it so when I was looking at books yesterday at work I was like okay if there's an audiobook for it I should listen to the audiobook and then if I love it that much I can get the book and most of them were audiobooks so anyways but it's Exiles by Jane Harper and I think something about um a baby there's like a, a baby's abandoned and then like the mother has gone missing or something like that um I might be mixing it up with another one, so I'm not going to say anything else because I think I'm going to start going the wrong way. But I'm going to borrow it. If you guys don't use Libby, you need to. Um, it's the library app. So now I have an audiobook to listen to. Yay! I have a bunch of audiobooks on hold. Um, the last thing he told me... That one says available soon, which is good. Because I also want something to listen to, like an audiobook to listen to when I drive to Portland next week. If you know, you know. And then I also have First Lie Winds, which also says available soon. And then Middle of the Night is a five-week hold. Pines is an eight-week hold. And then We Solve Murders is nine-week hold. So, anyways. But now I have... Um, an audiobook to listen to. So that's great. Got my muffin I'm gonna eat. I need to clean my glasses. My mom doesn't have a class until 8.57 and it's 8.22. So I've got some time to chill. I'm gonna connect my key to my uh, lanyard thingy. Oh, I was gonna show you what we're doing today. We're doing a Halloween color by the number. So they will do the addition. I will check it and then once it's like that they're right then I will they get to color them so should be fun these ones are for first and second and then please do these five Not sure what that means, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Anyways. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to eat my muffin and probably watch some more videos. Um I responded to my friend Emily's video, so now I'm gonna watch videos that Ellie sent me. And oh, there's a kid at the door. But he has no reason to be at the door, so I'm just not gonna make eye contact. <laughs> Anyways, I will update you guys later. I don't know when. She's still there. No. It's like they're supposed to be going outside. 
Um, I'll update you guys in a bit. I haven't even told you about this yet, but basically this lady, her name's Teresita. Um, we love her to death. She is amazing. And my mom used to work together and they're just like besties. They're so connected. I haven't seen her in years though. I instantly recognized her, but it was like, I haven't seen her in so long. Anyway, she had like offered if anyone, she was going to like make food if anyone wanted some today. And so my mom ordered some for me. So sorry that my mom didn't get to have any today, <laughs> but well, it turns out she's going to. So she texts my mom and is like, Hey, I'm going to bring the food for Ryan, but I want her to swing by my house after school. And I'm making a whole meal for you guys. She didn't even, I don't know if I told you guys this, but my mom's having surgery today. And my mom like told her and then they were both crying. And anyways, so sweet. So I'm going to go there pretty quickly after school because I got to um, get home to Skeeter to let Skeeter go potty. But <clears throat> I have the food so I didn't have to bring, maybe I did tell you guys this already actually. Now I feel like I did talk about this already. Either way. I have lunch now. Oh, look at that. That's going to be so good. Let's do a taste test. Oh, I got some soy sauce. Taste test. I'm going to have some rice. Um, no, because it's so good. It's so good. I'll tell you exactly what it is. It is chicken adobo and rice. And then the stuff that she's giving us later, I'll have to look. But there's, I think, like, loom, what is it? Lumpia, something like that. Um, but she gave me her address. I think I've been to her house before. Oh, yeah, she really is right there. I'm enjoying a lovely meal made by her. Like I said, got rice. Okay, I have some chicken. Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. Mm -hmm. Things have been going well. Coloring's been good. It's the day after Halloween, so kids are a bit frantic. Fanat uh, just, you know, all over the place. Kids are a little, a little excited today basically but um yeah all is well and we got four more groups after this I think it's 11 14 I don't have any other kids until 12 38 beautiful I'm hoping to read but we'll see to give you guys a fit check blue shirt got a little food on it um old navy shacket thing american eagle or airy black panther from sheen and then i have my crocs and then my r necklace or a ring that's the fit for today comfy just like that day's done Kids have been kids. Kids have been dismissed, and now I'm dismissing myself. So let's go. It's been literal hours. It is 7:20. Um, but I went over to the our friend's house, like the lady I was talking about earlier, house, and got the food that she made for my parents. And then I went home and I let Skeeter out, and I saw my my mom, and all is well. She had a surgery went really well. She is doing really well. So. In case you wanted an update on that um and now i'm home and i'm gonna heat up some of the food to eat steamed rice i think it was steamed rice but i got rice chicken adobo and then in here i have 
Pancit and Lumpia. Lumpia, I believe. Pancit and Lumpia. So I'm gonna split some of that, I think. I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna heat up my food and then probably watch something on YouTube and eat dinner. Good morning, besties, and happy Saturday. Oh. It appears that we're gonna be continuing this vlog, cause here I am, and I refuse to leave another, blo another vlog unended, so I'm gonna just continue. Um, it's Saturday morning. I just got, I left my ring in my bathroom and it feels really weird that I don't have it on. But I was leaving in a really hurry because I wanted McDonald's breakfast because I haven't had it in a pretty long time. And they stopped at like 11. So had to hurry. Got my McDonald's breakfast. Went to a coffee shop that I haven't been to in probably like a year, I feel like. Just because I thought, why not? Usually they're kind of slower, but like there was no one on the other side so I snuck in and I got a green apple blue raspberry green apple red bull and I'm gonna go oh. plan for today I'm gonna go inside eat my breakfast probably watch some financial audit because I love Caleb Hammer Caleb Hammer if you've seen this let's go on a date I can make my way to Austin whatever it takes um <laughs> I quite attracted to him anyway Anyway, gonna go inside do that, and then I need to, I'm, I need to do some laundry, because I animal sat for like a week, and I did a little bit of laundry there, but not like everything, so, and I need to like wash my sheets and everything, I have a lot of laundry I need to do, so I'm gonna do that today, and then this afternoon, I'm gonna get lunch and take it to my parents' house, and then spend time with my parents, and my dad's gonna put my studded tires on my car, because it's November 1st. So they're officially legal for the season. And in the next couple of weeks, I am driving to Portland. And then I'm also driving to Seattle. And where I live, I'm driving over two passes. I have to drive over Sadis Pass to get to Portland. And I have to drive over Snoqualmie Pass to get to Seattle. And the snow is starting. Up, at least up there. So I want to be extra safe. And because I feel like normally it's not like we're not really in a huge rush to put set of tires on and stuff November 1st. But I'm literally going to Portland on Thursday. I'm literally going. I haven't talked about it yet. I was just going to like do the vlog, but I'll tell you. In five days, five days, literally five days. So that's why it's like we need to put them on, put them on just in case. Because I'll be driving and I'll be alone and it's just, you know, we want to be extra careful in case there's weather going on. Um, but, is that where I have it? Or is it this one? I think that one. I'm going to the Sabrina Carpenter concert and the short and sweet tour. I'm so excited. I'm going to Portland because for one, I just went to the Moda Center in Portland for Gracie Abrams. And so, I was like, Portland, easy peasy, I've already done that for a concert like I just did that's easy like it'll be easy again and then also the ticket prices were cheaper it's further like the drive is further it's not like crazy further though like it's not insane it's like an hour or something difference um but I've already been to the location and I felt pretty safe in the downtown Portland area that I was in and Seattle I would be fine, I'm sure, but I just kind of feel more comfortable in Portland, I guess. Um, and I'm going by myself to the concert. Um, so especially being alone, I said I was like, I would feel way more comfortable going to the Moda Center because I've already done that with someone, but I've done it. So it'll be totally chill, I think, doing it by myself. Um, and I was, they finally, finally put the parking on the website. I've been checking every single night. And I was able to get parking in the parking garage. It's literally the same one we parked in for Gracie Abrams. Walk right around the corner and boom, you're at the line entrance for the venue. So I'm feeling really good about that now. I already have my hotel booked. Ticket has been purchased off SeatGeek. Love SeatGeek. I've had great experiences with SeatGeek. I use SeatGeek to get my Gracie Abrams ticket. I use SeatGeek to use my... Hosier concerts tickets and then I also oh and then another time I used Seat Geek was for Michael Ray for me and my friends um so it was like super easy to use and like it is legit um so I use it for Sabrina Carpenter for myself um but yeah so I'm really excited and then the next day well you know what I'm not gonna spoil anything else you just have to wait and see anyways I promise I'm not doing two concerts in a row again probably won't ever do that again it was worth it it was so fun but like it took a while for me to recover after that, I'm not going to lie. 
Um, and then I have another concert. It's a year of concerts for me, I guess. Um, in November, couple in a couple weeks, in Seattle. And I'm going with some friends to that. So anyways, that's why my dad's putting on my said tires today. So I'm going to hang out with them. And then, I don't know how late I'll stay there, but I'll come home and maybe read, hopefully. Ow. Scratch myself. Anyways, I want to eat, so let's go inside. Just started my second load of laundry, um, but my camera's charging, so I didn't show you guys that. My first two loads of laundry were like clothes and stuff, and then the last load is gonna be my sheets and like pillowcases. So, gonna prepare those right now, and then I might go clean out my car. I have a lot of drink cups in there. <laughs> I'm all showered, hair blow dried, and it's 3:20. Too. And I'm gonna go grab my laundry and then get ready to go get food for my parents and I. We are taking a quick pit stop at quick pit stop at Target. I need to pick up cat food for my stray cats that I feed because <laughs> I'm all out and I didn't realize that and last night, so I felt really bad when they were hanging out waiting. And then my shower drain just sucks, so every once in a while I have to put like drain stuff in it. And so I'm getting some of that as well. Oh, they're coming right now. And then I already placed my order for pickup at Jersey Mike, so it should be ready by the time I get there. But yeah, we're at Target, and I'm listening to a new audiobook called First Lie Wins by Ashley Elston. And I'm 27% of the way through, two times speed, and so far it's really good. It's a thriller. Got the Jersey mic and then I got I went to came to Burger Ranch and got a bag of fries but I called in which I never do because it makes me so nervous but I finally did and then I get here and they don't have it <laughs> the like boss took the order or something I don't know but um so now they're making it but I came through the drive-thru because there was no one here and I was like oh it's gonna be so quick but that's okay so we're just chilling oh but the audiobook I'm listening to so it's called First Lie Wins I think it's pretty popular right now um i am now 33 percent of the way through with it i'm terrible at, like giving synopsis giving a synopsis of like a book without like spoiling anything so and i didn't even read like what the back of it i didn't even read what it was about before i like got it i just saw that it was really popular and like a thriller so i thought i would try it out um so i couldn't even tell you what the thing like on the cover says because I literally don't know so I don't want to tell you anything and then possibly spoil it so I'm not going to but so far I'm really enjoying it it's really good I haven't listened to a thriller audiobook in a very long time but yeah that's what it looks like and I'm just like I just prefer listening to thrillers as audiobooks rather than reading them physically so yeah but anyways um then we're gonna be headed to my parents house and yeah, I'm excited for some french fries. Sorry, I've been slacking a little bit. But I went to my parents' house and had like late lunch, dinner, watched some of my dad's YouTube videos that he uploaded recently. Procrastination Garage, you should check it out. And then I'm home now and I just fed my backyard kitties. And I had to kind of leave right after my laundry was done earlier, so I didn't get a chance to put it away. So some of it's gonna be kind of wrinkly, but we're gonna put, we're gonna fold and put away the rest of my laundry and then I'm gonna let you guys watch me try not to struggle with my duvet cover. But we're gonna watch some financial audit while we fold up my laundry. Okay, I hope you enjoyed watching me put my sheets back on. Last time I did my, like, clean my, like, bedding and stuff, I put my duvet in sideways. First time I'd ever done that wrong, just putting that out there. And I just didn't want, I didn't have the energy to fix it, so I was like, oh, next time I'll fix it. So, 
it's all fixed now but anyways i think i'm gonna end this vlog here because i'm realizing that tomorrow is sunday and if i also vlog tomorrow that's just gonna be more for me to also edit tomorrow and then that might make me not want to and then i might not at all so if i cut it off here then there's a better chance of me following through tomorrow so thank you guys so much for watching the couple days in my life i hope you enjoyed i've missed you guys and missed vlogging so so weird noise upstairs missed i don't know what that is like a ghost missed vlogging so much so i'm definitely gonna try to stick with it and not keep going uh months a couple months on end without posting so yeah i'm hoping to do some reading content soon so stay tuned for that and yeah if you guys did enjoy this video please feel free to like comment and subscribe i would love for you to stick around and i will see you next time bye